Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to be introducing a new type of subject. We are going to cover behavior subjects. In the last lesson we have introduced here the notion of subject and we saw how the subject is really a mix between an observer and an observable. As we have discussed we should only use a subject to create our own observable if some of the available observable creation methods that RxJS provides us such as the from method is not a convenient solution for creating a given stream. However, in the rare occasions where we will be needing a subject, we will probably not be using here the default plain subject. We will most likely instead be using behavior subject, which is very similar to the plain subject, but it also supports late subscriptions. Let's give an example of a late subscription. So we are defining here a subject and we are deriving from it an observable just like before. We are doing here an initial early subscription. The subscription comes along before any value gets emitted. So let's identify here this initial subscription in the log. We are going to add here to our logging message that this is the early subscription and we're going to add here the emitted value. Now this subject emitted three values and let's say that for the moment we are not completing the subject. Now our program is still running and the subject is potentially emitting more values. At this point we are going to make a second late subscription a few seconds after the first subscription. So in order to do that we are going to use here set timeout and we are going to wait for let's say 3 seconds to pass before performing the second subscription. In order to do the second subscription we are going to copy this line here and we are going to change here the logging message to late subscription. So we have here two subscriptions, each receiving here the same values that are being passed to the subject. Let's then see how this program behaves. So let's remember we are emitting the values, but we are not completing the observable. If we have a look here at the console, we're going to see that our early subscription, just like before, did receive the values here one to three. But this late subscription here that happened three seconds after the values have been emitted did not receive anything. So the default behavior of this plain subject is the following. We are going to subscribe to the subject and we will receive new values that are made after the subscription, but we will not get access to the previously emitted values. This subject here by default has no memory. Now notice that if after the second subscription we do emit a new value, then that value is going to be caught by both subscribers. So if we now emit here the value 4, we are going to see that we still have here the early subscription receiving values 1, 2, 3, but then we will have both the early and the late subscriber receiving the value 4. This is because the value 4 was emitted after both subscriptions took place. The problem is that when we are writing asynchronous programs, we very often want our late subscribers to receive something from the observable. Typically, we want our late subscribers to receive the latest value emitted by the observable. Let's say, for example, that the observable corresponds to an HTTP request and we have here a late subscriber to that HTTP request. Even though the subscription happened after the request has been completed and we got the response from the backend, we would still want to receive that value. We want to be able to write our program in a way that our logic still works independently of the timing of each subscription. So in order to support that, we have a different type of subject, which is called the behavior subject. The goal of behavior subject is to always provide something to subscribers. Even if the subscription happens late, we still want to get the latest value emitted by the observable before the subscription. So because the goal is to always provide a value to subscribers, we also need to pass in here an initial value. Let's pass in here the value zero. This is the value that is going to be given to this subscriber here because the subscriber perform the subscription before the first value got emitted. So we still want to pass in here something to this very early subscriber and we will receive here the value zero. 
and we will also receive here the value 1 to 3 for our early subscriber. So that is already one difference. We don't have to wait for the first value to be emitted to receive something. We have here a default value. Another difference is that in the case of late subscriptions, we will get something here. So before, because the subscription was late, we did not receive here any value. Now, with behavior subject, we are going to be receiving here the value free, which is the last value emitted before the subscription. Let's then see the behavior of behavior subject. We can see here that in the console, the early subscriber is already getting here the value zero because the subscription happened very early in the process. The early subscriber also got here the values one to three, but then our late subscriber, unlike the case of the default subject, also got here some value, the value free. Notice that if our behavior subject keeps emitting values here after the second subscription, then both subscribers will still keep receiving here the new values just like before. Now let's learn how behavior subject handles completion. So if the completion happens here before the second subscription takes place, then this late subscriber here will not receive any value. So as you can see, only the early subscriber received here the values 0, 1, 2 and 3 and our subject then completed. Completion means that late subscribers will no longer receive the last emitted value. So this logic that the behavior subject has of remembering the last emitted value will only be effective as long as the observable is running and it will not work after completion. Behavior subject is probably the most commonly used type of subject and it's the one that we will be using to implement our store. Before doing that, let's cover a couple more varieties of subjects that you might come across. It's the async subject and the replace subject. 